Rats taking over a woman's Pflugerville property. She told us she's been finding them every day for the last month, and she thinks it's a side effect of the way life has changed since mid-March. KVU's Luis De Leon spoke with her and experts today to find out why pests are popping up more often. They continue to come night after night. Jody Alston, who grew up in Central Texas, loves her backyard in Pflugerville. Everything that is crawling and frying in Texas, I'm used to it. But she's suddenly dealing with a Texas-sized problem with these Texas-sized rats. So I wake up, I go do my three-mile walk, I come back home, and I clean up all the dead rats in my backyard. She's not kidding. Alston sent us a lot of pictures of the hungry rodent she's captured since mid-July, around 20 total. She called pest control and got a bait box, but... I mean, the rodents just did not stop. Her fence, which now looks more like a game of mousetrap, lines up right against an open field and next to an elementary school. But she thinks the pandemic could have something to do with the sudden big trail, or tail, of rats trying to make their way to her home. The kids haven't been in school, we haven't had football games, so these trash dumpsters are empty. They are looking for food, they are looking for water. So... We asked some experts who say while it's hard to actually blame the pandemic for this, it's a possibility. Bait boxes are secure with the bait. With everybody being home now, everybody wants to feel more comfortable and safe in their home. Danny Vasquez, a manager for X Out Pest Services, says this year new customers are up around 20%. With businesses, schools being closed, that doesn't have a lot of trash taken out, especially restaurants that might have shut down, that would have might have had a big rat population come around. They probably would migrate elsewhere, go into more rural areas and residential communities, um, given that everyone's home, taking out more trash. The CDC even has a posting on their website about a potential increase in rodents due to the pandemic. As for Alston, her goal is really to raise awareness. I love my neighborhood and I would hate to see, you know, the neighborhood dogs or cats or even kids playing outside be bitten by these disease stricken rodents. Luis De Leon, KVU News. All right, uh, Quita, just some rat facts for you. Did you know a rat is fully mature at five weeks, uh, can have children in a gestation period of about 23 weeks, and a female rat can give birth to up to eight baby rats at a time. So the, the add up for all of this, 50 baby rats per year per female. That's why there are a lot of them. No, yeah, that's just nightmare fuel, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. This isn't like a cute cartoon rat like Remy no. from Ratatouille or Templeton from Charlotte's Web. This is like uh, every pore in, in my body just sort of sucked in on itself. Yeah. and just, I'm, No, no I'm, rats. I'm glad that they blurred out most of the video there. Not good there. Hope we didn't ruin your meal if you're eating a late night snack.